So Derek, it looks like we'll have a fairly dry day even going into the early evening hours. It's late in the evening. We do have to watch out for a chance for some rain showers or storms. Uh, they will be rather scattered, so it's not going to be a widespread chance for rain. That said, the deeper we go into the night, uh, the more likely we'll have to keep an eye on the sky, not just for fireworks, but also some of nature's fireworks. Rest of today, you don't have to worry about any rain showers. Partly cloudy, near average, middle 80s, feeling like the middle to upper 80s, though, at that high humidity, so uh, definitely the usual kind of weather that we see for early July as we wrap up this holiday eve and head into the holiday itself. Tonight, a few degrees cooler down into the upper 60s under a partly cloudy sky. And for the 4th of July, again, the majority of the day is going to be dry. And on the warm end of the scale, you can see we start out in the 70s early in the morning, back to the middle to upper 80s throughout the afternoon. It does get a little hot during those afternoon hours, just like we saw today. Uh, so plan on temperatures closing in on 90 degrees may feel like the upper 80s to low 90s with the humidity. And then heading late into the evening, and so we do have to watch out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. It looks like those very early evening hours may be spared, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for storms coming in from Iowa. And like last night, we do see a low risk for severe weather this time around, though it's shoved a little farther to the west, but basically Freeport and westward. You are at a one out of five risk for severe weather going into tomorrow night. Similar risks as last night, uh, looking at uh, heavy rainfall, high winds, as well as some hail as threats if these storms are able to come to pass because like last night we'll see all sorts of activity brew up in Iowa and then we have to see just how well does it hold together as it crosses into Illinois. Here we are at 9 o'clock, uh, so of course that is key when we are watching out for the fireworks and things like that. Storms starting to enter Illinois around that point. We will continue to keep a close eye on these by 10 o'clock. May have a couple scattered thunderstorms that may have you running indoors quickly as possible or maybe skipping the fireworks. Other areas, as you can see, the majority of the state line staying fairly dry through about 10. And then between 10 and 11, we again have those spotty thunderstorms crossing most of our backyard. So so hopefully we're able to get most of those fireworks in before some scattered showers and storms come through. So for that fireworks forecast early in the evening, warm and dry, but the deeper we go, keep that weather authority app handy. It'll alert you if there is any lightning in your backyard or in your area to let you know to head indoors as quickly as possible. And after that, spotty showers and cooler weather ahead for Friday. We're dry and sunny on Saturday. Then late Sunday into Monday may see some more scattered showers and storms. Temperatures holding steady in the low 80s. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we will continue to see all sorts of seasonable weather the deeper we go into July. Not too many hot days in that extended forecast.